Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how are you? Let's tap into this energy like we always do. See if it changed. See if it stayed the same. Spirit, join me at this table to tap into the energy of Virgo. Virgo, what's going on? Let's tap, tap into this energy and see what message Spirit has for you. Okay. Mm. Okay, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Virgo, a lot of good changes is coming in for you. I know you guys don't believe it, you don't feel it, because I can feel how frustrated you guys feel right now. You feel frustrated about things not going your way, you're not getting what you want. You feel your prayers are not being heard. That's just the furthest, that's, that's the furthest thing from the truth, okay? Just hold tight, a change is coming, okay? Yeah. Don't give up hope. Don't throw in the towel just yet, okay? Know like you know like you know. That what you want wants you too. Here it come. No matter what it is. Spirit come through. Can I have some messages for Virgo? Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. First position you have, Virgo. Mm, magician. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing right there. First position, too. Death card. World card. Mm, look at that spread. First three is always the most powerful ones for me. Eight of Wands. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, you got the Knight, Knight of Swords. Okay. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Let me move this down so we can see this clearly. Okay. Is that in your eye shot? Can you see that? Okay, you got the Five of Cups. Mm-hmm. You got the Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Four of Pentacles. Okay. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Empress. Mm -hmm. You have the Nine of Cups. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. Let's see what you guys got here. You have one, two, three. Hmm. Four. Four major arcanas. We would definitely take them, okay? At the bottom of the deck, it looks like you guys got five major arcanas. You got the hangman, okay? Uh, Virgo, somebody... Either you and you or your person, whoever you're here for, or just you, okay? For those of you who's been single for a very long time, it looks like you're holding on to something. You're contemplating something, okay? You're kind of like in some sort of stuck energy. To don't, you don't know where to, which way to go. You don't know what to do, okay? You may want out of something, but you, you just feel like you have no way out. You may feel caged. You may feel blocked, okay? All right? This energy will be short-lived, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks like you guys are overthinking something too. You got to stop overthinking, okay? You're not stuck. You're in some sort of self-imposed prison or some sort of self-imposed um, um, energy to where you're just not making moves or something like that, okay? Or you're just not, it's like you're not, it's like what you want to do or what you're planning to do is just not manifesting fast enough for you or something like that. Okay, it will hold back, hold on, okay? Yeah, we got the Eight of Swords. You're definitely feeling stuck, you're feeling blocked, you're feeling trapped. Okay, this is definitely some sort of self-imposed prison that you got yourself in, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you might be frustrated, a little angry that something that you really want or you want to, uh, to uh, something that you really want to achieve is not happening fast enough, okay? Whether you want to start your business, whether you want to move, whether you want to get married, whether you want to have the baby, whether you want to start um, this new relationship, whatever it is, whatever it may be, okay? You're, you're feeling a little stuck. You're feeling like angry or something that you're not moving towards what you want. You feel trapped and you feel, you feel trapped. 
Period. Hangman and the Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ace of Ace of Pond, Ace of Wands. It looks like you got the hots for somebody that's not making enough energy, not making enough effort towards you. Yeah, you might be trying to get out of it, but you can't, or something like that. No matter how you try to leave this person or get away from this person, uh, it's just that that attraction is still there for you, or something like that. It's something that still pulls you back in. Yeah, you just feel like it's not going anywhere. You feel trapped in a situation that's not going anywhere, but somebody just can't seem to let go with this Ace of Wands. This is somebody that you're very passionate over, you're very attracted to. Fresh start, some sort of new beginning is coming in for, um, for you and this person. We got the Three of Cups in reverse. Mm. Yeah, this person might not be coming towards you fast enough. This is this is three of cups in reverse. So this there hasn't been a reunion. This person hasn't come towards you. This is somebody you're very passionate for. Okay, but they're not making any efforts. They're not making any moves or something like that. Okay, let's look and see what else we can get. Leaving you feeling stuck or leaving you feeling trapped. Yeah, you got the first position, you got the magician card. Yeah, you're definitely gonna come out of that energy. Right now, you're in the energy of manifesting, okay? you every, Any and everything you want, you're going to get. Whatever you touch, you're going to get, okay? You got the Midas touch right now. Whatever you want, you're going to get. Whatever you're manifesting, you're going to get. A very powerful energy. This is coming up in first position. First, second, and third for me, is it tells me to read, okay? So this tells me that a huge transformation is coming in for you. Huge. Bigger than what you can think, okay? You're getting frustrated because you haven't seen it yet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. it's going to knock your socks off okay this is going to be better than what you can imagine okay this has been long waited you have been very patient you have waited you have cried you have sweat you done went through the blood sweat and tears to get what you are about to get okay virgo there's something here that you've been praying for you've been wanting you to, you've been desiring rather it's a relationship to relocate to move, new beginning on a job, a new position on a job, a raise on a job, a new man, a new woman, uh, a baby, uh, relocating, did I say that already, moving somewhere, whatever it is, vacation, trip, whatever it is that you've been wanting, you are about to get it and it's going to be better than what you, what you could imagine. Okay, something is not moving fast enough for you here, Virgo, but if you just hold tight, okay, you just hold tight and put your put your trust into spirit. It's going to blow your mind. Okay. You have to remember everything is in divine timing. Okay. Everything is in divine timing. That, that phrase is for a reason. Okay. Because things have to be in alignment. You know, everything has to be at that pivotal time. Everything has to be right. Okay. Some of you are manifesting a lot of stuff and you're not seeing anything come and you're getting so frustrated. You're ready to throw in a towel. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Hold tight. Hold steady on what you want. Rock steady. You know that song by Aretha Franklin? Rock steady. Rock steady, baby. Hold tight. Because here it come. Okay? You got the magician card right here. I need I say more. That's a drop the mic moment for real, for real. Just drop the mic. First position, the magician. What? Any and everything that you want, you're about to have. Okay? If you want a new car, you're going to get it. If you want a new house, you're going to get it. If you want a new man or a woman, you're going to get it. If you want to lose weight, you will. If you want to gain weight, you will. You're going to get what you want. Hold tight. Don't throw a tantrum. Stop acting like a two-year-old. Put your big boy boxers on or your big girl panties on. Okay? It's time to step into that adulthood. Okay? Anything, anything that's worth having is worth going through whatever you got to go through to get it. Okay? And it's definitely going to call for some patience here. Okay? Because it's here. It's inevitable. You got the magician and the death card. Okay? Okay? This is transformation. Okay, this is, you, you're stepping into your power. A whole new you is about to emerge. Okay, whatever you was going through, whatever you was enduring is coming to an end. A whole new fresh start is about to come in for you. Same thing with the world. The world and the death is pretty much the same. Endings and beginnings. Okay, for some of you, it could be an end of a relationship. Mm -hmm. It could be an end of some suffering end of some sort of uh negative energy some sort of bad karma okay it could be in uh, end of a whole lot of different fuck shit it could be a totally end of a whole lot of stuff but however you look at it it's going to be a brand new beginning 
Okay, so whatever you were going through that was depressing you, you know, helping you cry, worry, stress, anxiety, all that is coming to an end. Okay, and many of you are frustrated because you're not manifesting what you want. You're not getting what you want. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling you're feeling um, uh, uh, overlooked. You're feeling rejected. You feel like no one sees you. No one hears your plight. Nobody gets you. Mm, 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 mm. Couldn't it be the feathers from the truth. Here it come. You got a whole new phase coming in. A whole new phase of love. A whole new phase of manifesting. A whole new phase of happiness. Joy. Okay. Some of you might be taking a trip. You might be traveling soon with this world card right here. Mm -hmm. Death card is a new you coming in. Some of you are about to really start tapping into your gifts. You start. You really start to tap into your power. Okay. With this death card, it's like an ending for like a rebirth. You're going through some some sort of um. It's like Phoenix rising, okay? It's like you're going to burn through those ashes and be reborn again, like a new birth, like a new you is emerging here, okay? Uh huh. Shit that you used to allow to happen in your life, you're no longer allowing to happen in, to have, to happen in your life. If you were being used, abused, manipulated, talked to like you wasn't shit, you're not tolerating that anymore. There's a whole new you emerging now, okay? Mm -hmm. Many of you are definitely starting to learn what you can do. Okay, you're really starting to tap into your energy. Okay, and spirit is starting to reward you for that. They're rewarding you for trusting who you are, to pull out your gift and, and attract and manifest any and everything that you want. That's the energy that you are in. Okay, stop negating it too. Don't say one minute you can do it and then the next minute you can't do it because you haven't seen it come fast enough. Things take time. Okay. Especially when it's right for you. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got some communication coming in, uh, Virgo, with this eight of wands. Somebody really wants to come and talk to you. Uh huh. This is somebody who's missing you. Somebody haven't seen you for a long time. For a very long time. Yeah. They want to have some sort of honest communication with you. Some sort of honest conversation. Could be an air sign to Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra. Okay, Virgo. Yeah, somebody wants to have a very important conversation with you. Open, honest conversation too. They're a little nervous, but they're coming. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that may have strong feelings for you with this ace of cups this person may love you very much but keep it a secret you might not know it. they may have never said it out their mouth uh but you can feel it you know it okay even though they don't say it or they don't act like it this person loves you very much that's coming in for you okay mm -hmm. very much this person feels abandoned by you too a lot of shame and regret too with this five of cups this person feels that you no longer want them or something like that so now they want to hold on to you with this four of pentacles okay and it's probably what they feel is this new energy of you this is a whole new beginning of you this is a fresh start for you okay something new is coming in for you mm, look at that whole new beginning fresh start uh -huh. And this is what this person is real realizing. This is what this person is seeing. Okay, they see this. They see this new beginning with you. They see this fresh start with you. They see this new world coming in for you. They see this transition, this transformation in you. You're not the same person you used to be. Mm -mm. There's a whole new you. Mm -hmm. You guys are... are uh, on a, you, you're just catapulted on, on a whole new level now. You're just, you're just on, you're vibing on a whole new energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of you are getting tired of being tired. You're getting tired of being alone. You're getting tired of being sad. You're getting tired of crying. You're tired of sitting in your emotions and don't even know why that you're crying. That's that transformation. Lord, it ain't nothing easy. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's going to be the hardest thing in the world. You're going to be like, good Lord, ain't nothing good about a, a transformation. It's not. It's not, but when it's once it's done, it's amazing. Okay, but but that rebirth is a mother. It's a mother sucker. It really is. Okay, and it looks like many of you are going through that. You got the ten of cups. Somebody wants a commitment with you, but you're not paying them no mind. You're focusing on you. You're doing what you got to do. It's like you don't want it anymore, or that's not important to you anymore, or something like that. For me, for some of you, it is because you've been feeling very lonely for a long time. For some of you, you feel your happiness is going to come through somebody else. But a lot of you don't feel that. A lot of you feel like you need to change. You want to change. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want something different. You want something new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Because you're tired of waiting for this person to come correct or, or do right by you or something like that. Yeah. But they're going to come and talk to you because they want to try to do right by you. But it might be too little too late. Okay. You might don't trust it. You might have a... Uh, you might be second guessing it a lot. Mm -hmm. This is why you're focusing on you because you feel like you're the only one who's not going to let you down. But this person who wants to come back and talk to you, they, they're dead serious. They do want some sort of commitment with you. They are holding on to you energetically. They want to work on this with you. Okay. They value you. You got the Empress energy. They value you. Okay. They see your worth. Some of you could be pregnant or you're about to be pregnant. Speaking of pregnancy, I had a dream about fish. Three of them, three round fish. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They was huge, too. Jumping out of a toilet. I said, Oh my God, who tried to flush them? Because they're not going. And I ran out the bathroom and shut the door behind me. Three fish, three huge fish, shaped like a circle. Okay. Somebody's pregnant. Mm hmm. Either you're pregnant, Virgo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you already have children with this person or something like that. You could be the mother of their child or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of you have been single for a very long time and that's your frustration. You want marriage. You want happiness. You want to be seen. You want to be loved. You want to be worshipped. And you are. You are all those things. You will be if you're not. Okay. Somebody loves you very much. Somebody has high honor for you with this Empress energy. Somebody values you. Okay, maybe they didn't at the beginning, but they do now. All right, hold tight. A lot of you are definitely losing, you losing sight on, on what's important here. Okay, once you fix you, everything else, everything else falls in place. Okay, if you if you guys are saying I'm lonely, I don't have nobody, I've been by myself for far too long because many of you have been, you know, by yourself for a while. Yeah, I know. You've been by yourself for a while, but you're going to get your wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups right here. You're going to get your wish fulfillment. The outcome that you want, you're going to get. Okay? Mm-hmm. But I know. I know you guys have been by yourself for a little while, and you're feeling lonely. You're feeling like, when is... When am I going to be happy? When am I going to have the one for me? Or when is this one that I'm interested in going, going to come up and do the... You know, step up and do the right thing? Mm, not to worry, they will. Okay, they will. You're going to get the outcome that you want. You've been single for a while, but not to worry. You're going to get the outcome that you want. Okay. Many of you could be having a baby or you are the mother of their child or you want a baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to have your baby too. You're going to have, you're going to have any and everything that you are wanting. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. You're going to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not over. This is not done. Okay, let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. But you got to stop giving up hope. You got to stop sabotaging your work. Okay, you can manifest what you want in your thoughts. And then at the same time, you you just switch that thought over to never mind. It ain't going to work. I'll never get it. Things never work out for me. That's not true. Do, do not negate yourself like that. Don't negate your power, your thoughts like that. Okay. Everything that you have, you have manifested. You have pulled in. Remember that. Spirit come through. You're going to get what you want. You are going to get what you want. Okay. Many of you have been very patient. Okay. Many of you have been waiting patiently to get what you want. And you will. Spirit come through. May I have some more messages? Give me some clarifiers. Spirit to clarify this read. This beautiful transformation is happening right now for these Virgos. Mm. Yeah, we got the moon card right here. Mm. You guys are very, very powerful right now. Very intuitive, very intuitive energies. Mm -hmm. You know what you want and you're going to get it, okay? This is secrets being revealed. There's a lot of fear too. You got to stop doubting and fearing yourself, Virgo. You can achieve and get any and everything that you want, okay? Mm -hmm. Let that doubt go. Yeah, let that fear go. All right. A lot is about to be revealed to you. Look at this. The magician. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Virgo, somebody might be trying to do some black magic to you on you guys with this moon and this magician. Mm -hmm. Somebody might be trying to send some darkness your way. This might be why you're feeling a little doom and a little gloom. 
Like nothing ha happens for you. Somebody might be trying to block your success. You know what to do. Take your spiritual baths. Protect yourself, okay? All right. We got the magician right here. Powerful, influential, spellcaster, tactful, resourceful. Okay. We have it here on, the, on your clarifiers. We got the moon and the magician. Somebody might be trying to stop your success. Stop stop this uh, this reward from coming towards you that the universe is about to get you. But they can't. You can't be touched. Look at this. You got the sun card. No one, no one can stop what spirit has for you. Okay? You belong to spirit. No one can stop your your your, your success, your growth, your rewards, your blessings. What spirit blesses, no one can stop. Okay? You have the sun here. This is joy. This is wish fulfillment. This is good luck. This is happiness. Okay? This is pregnancy. This is everything that you're waiting for. Everything that you want. Yeah, you got somebody trying to stop it, but they can't touch you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you got a hater in the midst. Somebody that you think you can trust, but you really can't. Okay? Somebody's trying to pray against you. They see that you're about to achieve it, and they're mad. Uh huh. Could be a relative too, like a sister, all right, a cousin or or aunt. Okay, this person is really angry. They don't want you to do well. All right. We also have the wheel of fortune. They are. They already think they. This. This is somebody who already thinks that you always got it good. You already had it good, or something like that. Everything good happens for you. Okay. They don't know your story. Okay, they just see your glory. They don't know what you've been through. This is a hater. This is somebody that you're related to. Okay, if it's not a relative, it's, it's a damn sure close, close friend. Okay, mm -hmm. who's trying to pray against you. They don't want you to, to get with this, this reward that's coming in for you. Okay, they're a little nervous about it. They believe in it more than you believe in it. Put it that way. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We got waste of your time. Nothing will come out of it. Not serious, wrong things, unwise. Don't ignore the red flags. Okay, you might have to get this person out your life. Okay, it ain't gonna mean you no good. All right. And for some of you, this is somebody that you was trying to love. Okay, you was trying to be in a relationship with. Okay, rather it was the same sex or rather it was you know opposite sex. This person might have been trying to pray against you too because they want you to need them. Okay, you got you garnish a lot of attention. You are a star. Okay. You're healing right now. This is a whole new you that's emerging. You have been through some fuck shit and you coming out right. You coming out strong. Your gifts is popping right now, Virgo. You're getting really good at manifesting. You're getting really good at creating. You're getting really good at uh protecting yourself. Really good at reading energy. You're getting really good at things that you have been working on to build your spirit, spirituality. It's getting second nature to you now, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got ship has sailed. The opportunity has already passed. Too late. No second chances. It's over. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. This person might be too little, too late who's trying to come in for you. You may not feel the same for this person when they return. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You might be meeting somebody new because this old energy is just that. It's some sort of old energy. Okay, this person is definitely holding on to you, though. Mm -hmm. Somebody from your past is definitely holding on to you. But you're too strong. Mm -hmm. You're too strong. You can't be controlled. You can't be bossed. You can't be uh, lured in. You can't be uh, manipulated. This is a whole new you, okay? Mm -hmm. Compassion, sacrifice, healing, resilience, bravery, courage. This is a whole new you. They're not even going to recognize you, whoever this is, that's trying to come back and get back in your good graces. Okay, this is why there's watching or possibly spying or something like that. Okay, this is why there's. they see this changing. They see this transformation in you. Yeah, you high priestess. You're very intuitive energy. Mm -hmm. Your spirit guides give you messages all the time. You get downloads all the time, especially in your dreams. Okay, start writing them down. All right, you can feel this transformation coming in for you. You can feel this change coming in for you. Yes, you get a little um, impatient at times. Yes, you get a little antsy at times, but you know it's coming. That's probably why you get so antsy, because you can feel that it's coming. It just it just hasn't arrived yet, but it's coming. You know this change, this very good change that's coming in for you. You already know it. Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. 
I'm not telling you nothing that you don't already know. This is like confirmation. This is like a reminder. This is a message from spirit letting you know, I got your prayers. I got you. I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spirit, you is amazing. It cracks me up. It would take a while. <laughs> it would take a while, so be patient, okay? Keep a good attitude while you're waiting. Gradual, dragging, creeping. Make a decision when you feel your best, okay? This is going to take a while, but it's going to be so freaking worth it, okay? I know you get angry like, you know, I want it now. I got to do it now, 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 now. Now is not the right time, so you make best with the time that you have, okay? Don't waste your time. Don't waste it, okay? Use it some way, somehow, until, until what you really want. Is here, okay? Mm -hmm. Cause it's coming. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. It's not too late. Uh, you're never too late for your destiny. Okay. Slow to act. Hope. Expectations. Take your time. Choose wisely. Okay. Somebody definitely wants to offer you that olive branch too. Somebody wants to come back in and ask for your forgiveness. They want to be friends with you again. They want to get back in your good graces. Possibly a, fa a family member once again. Yeah. They want a fresh start. They want a new beginning with you. This is somebody that see you. That see you doing well. They see you um, manifesting. They see you're not turning back you're not kissing ass you're not sweating them this, this is somebody who feel you like really done with them and they don't want to be done with you put it that way spirit come through let's pull some more let's see what else we have down here mm -hmm. yeah somebody wants back in with you uh virgo in the worst way okay spirit come through can i have some messages for virgo can I please have some more messages for Virgo? Virgo, you could be dealing with a Libra. It could be a Libra that's returning to you. Mm -hmm. this, this could be a Libra who's not letting go. Very indecisive energy. They really don't know what they want. All they know is they can't live without you. Okay? Mm -hmm. They just can't live without you. They can live with a lot of things, but not you. All right? It's just something about you. It's, they need you in their life or something like that. They need you... In their corner. All right. Once again, manifesting. This person might be manifesting you. Okay. You both are doing some manifesting here. Okay. You d you both are pulling in the energy that you want. Look at that. Okay. You could have you could have Libra in your chart as well too, Virgo. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, you're taking back control of your life. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm some of you have given up too much of your control. To try to make somebody happy, to try to make somebody feel included, to try to make somebody uh, feel less inferior to you or something like that. All right. Don't don't dull your light in fear of you're going to outshine somebody else. Ain't nobody got time for that. If that's their low self, self-esteem ass energy, you leave them right where they at. Okay, because, you know, that shit is called self-esteem. They have to work on that themselves. There's nothing that you can do about that. Don't low, Don't dim your light because somebody else can't handle it. You just bow out gracefully and get the hell away from them, okay? Spirit come through. Whatever messages do you have for Virgo? Mm -hmm. We have karmic relationship. You guys might be might have just got out of a karmic relationship, a very toxic relationship. You might have just ended one. It was a very karmic and it was very toxic, okay? This person might try to physically hurt you all the time or or spiritually hurt you all the time or something like that okay that relationship is dead that relationship is gone you're never tolerating it again. again this is why you have to take back your control of your life okay you're very intuitive energy you know what to do virgo listen to yourself and protect yourself because this could be the person uh that you left behind this could be the one who's trying to send that black magic that dark magic to try to put some sort of uh they try to like stop you in your track. They try to stop you from from this stop this blessing from coming towards you. Although they can't, they can't touch you. Okay, yeah. You might not look your age. Mm -hmm. Some of you might be a lot older than than uh, you look. Cougar energy. You might attract younger men. Uh huh. No matter how old you are, the younger ones always want you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you don't look your age, nor do you act. It's not like you act like a child or anything. You're just very young at heart. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Pisces too. We got Pisces water energy. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Virgo, you could be dating a Pisces, especially the men. Okay, she could have red hair. Or Virgo, you could have red hair. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, somebody's definitely expecting. A baby's about to come through real soon, too, okay? Mm -hmm. You're about to deliver real soon. Mm -hmm. Your due date is near. Some of you are about to have a Virgo. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Or said or Gemini significant in your life, okay? Yeah, some kind of broken mar marriage is here. If you guys was married, you don't want to be married anymore. Or if your person was married, they don't want to be married anymore, okay? Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, or a Capricorn is significant in your life. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm a lot of nonverbal communication is going on too. Yeah. But you guys are. You guys are. You're talking, but not verbally. It's like you're like you're on on the five D communicating or something like that. They read in your energy. You can read theirs. Mm -hmm. Maybe through text or something. A lot of nonverbal communication. Spirit come through. Hey, gorgeous. Somebody really is about to yell to you, hey, gorgeous. You're about to meet somebody new, Virgo. Uh-huh. That somebody new is coming in for you. This is a, somebody in a whole new different energy. This is not like this toxic, toxic, toxic ass relationship that you're leaving behind is for certain. Okay. We got retail therapy. Some of you love to shop. Look at that. Mm -hmm. it makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. You like to spend that money. You may order a lot. Mm -hmm. you might got a lot of packages coming to your house. Not happy unless you got a delivery coming in. You're not happy until your phone is saying delivery in the hour. Delivery today. Your package has been delivered. Mm -hmm. You're about to get some keys too, Virgo. Ay, ay, ay. You might be definitely moving. All right. Keys represents a new location. Or you're opening up some, you're opening up some new doors or something like that in your life. It could just be you just opening up some new opportunities, some new doors, you know. Yeah, this is what you've been waiting for too. Okay. If it's not if it's not a new house that you're opening up, you're definitely opening up some new opportunities for yourself. Okay. Spirit wants you to move in silence. Don't let everybody know what you're doing. A lot of people's not you know many people are not for you, okay? Mm hmm They're just not. But I definitely want you to expect that miracle because here it come. You got to move in silence, okay? This is going to stress out a lot of people, okay? This is going to stress a lot of people out. And if you're stressed, you won't be for long, okay? Pull yourself out of that energy. With the energy that you're in now while you're waiting is very important. So get of good cheer. If you're stressed and worried, how come I don't have nobody? How come nobody loves me? When am I going to meet somebody? I'm tired of being alone. I haven't heard from this person. They haven't called me in six or seven or nine months or two years. Then F them. Move on. Moving right on. Anybody got time? Uh-uh. You got shit to do. Shoot. Mm -mm, if they ain't call you good, bye. They want you though, whoever it is. Somebody say, I want you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got a great, great deal of regret. They regret everything, okay? They regret how everything went down. What they didn't invest in, what they didn't do, or something like that. Somebody didn't see your value or something like that. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side, okay? They went towards somebody else and now regretting it big time, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now they want to know, can I call you? All right. Can I call you? Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. It's Pisces wants to call you. It's Pisces wants to see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. Virgo, every time I do this Virgo read, what card comes out? Okay. You guys garner a lot of jealousy. You do. You do. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to pull out that card. I'm going to pull out that deck and find out right now. What is this evil eye and this jealousy causing you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you garnish too much damn jealousy, too much envy, too much. It's unnecessary. It's just unnecessary. Everybody want to be like Mike. Spirit come through. What messages do you have for Virgo? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What their evil eye is causing for you? Random, re random. And repeated issues in day-to-day -day life. Okay? Yeah. 
somebody's just you know they're just evil eyeing you where it's just it's just like it's just ruining your day or just interfering with things that you got to do or things that you was trying to do okay well you just fight through it okay because you're definitely going to win their failures keep them obsessing over your personal victories stop telling your business don't tell them shit don't say nothing okay Mhm. Mm don't 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 tell them nothing about your business, okay? Cuz they be more occupied with your shit than you do. Okay? Their evil eye. The evil eye that's being sent your way is coming from a coworker or a business rival, okay? For some of you, this is a coworker. This is somebody that you work with. Or this is somebody that you do business with or do or does the same type of business as you do. Okay, this is a rival. This is somebody who wants to be like you. Okay, or does the same work that you do. Okay, and they think that you're better than them. You're going to cause, you're going to call in more customers than them. You know, you're going to be greater at it than them or some fuck shit like that. N dumb crap. You know, just nonsense. Okay. Okay, what, what their evil eye is causing you, unexplained series of misfortunate events. Just like this one over here, causing you day-to-day -day, uh, problems. That's that envy. That's that jealousy. You know what to do. You just jump into some sea salt. Okay. Just cleanse your energy all the time. Carry some sea salt in your pocket. Okay. Uh huh. Wash your face with some sea salt. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. What their evil eye is causing you affecting your relationship and close connections. Okay. Yeah. A lot of, you know, that jealousy is a monster. That green eyed monster is something else. It's also causing you a friend or someone in your close circle. The evil eye is being sent your way. It's coming from a friend or someone in your close circle. Hands down. Someone, it has to be somebody that's close to you. It has to be somebody that's able to see you and get towards you or something like that. Mm -hmm. Very low vibrational energy. All right. Okay. You've wounded their ego. All right. This is some, <laughs> That might be a lover. It might be somebody y'all was messing around with. You wounded their ego, okay? You might have told this person off in a way that nobody else has ever told them off, okay? You might have shut it down in, in a way of nobody has ever shut them down, okay? We also have wearing fake smiles to keep you blinded of who they really are. See, 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 see. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Wearing fake smiles... To keep you blinded of who they really are. See how they wear that mask? See how they wear that mask? This is somebody who tries, tries to play the funk like they like they love you. Like they're happy for you with your success. But they be really ready to throw the fuck up. Uh-huh. Yeah, y'all gonna have to start tapping into that energy more. Read more so you can get these fools away from you, okay? They wish they were granted the same opportunities coming your way. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Everybody get their chance to shine. But when it's your chance to shine, they don't want you to have shit. They don't want you to do nothing. Okay? Using spell work to bring about misfortune. Somebody's really trying to stop you. They're really trying to give you like a hard way to go. They want, they want to see you crying and in agony and nothing going right for you. They feel that you got it too good already. Okay? What their evil eye is causing you. Old issues from the past returning randomly. Mm, 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 mm. You're not going to win. This is what they want to cause you. Some of you got maybe going through this or may, you may have seen it or something like that. But you're too sharp. You're too much on it already. Okay. What their evil eye is causing for you. Irrational thoughts, negative thoughts, uncontrolled negative thoughts, and memories resurfering, resurf resurfacing. Okay. So if you find yourself constantly thinking about something that you haven't been thinking about, especially if it's somebody uh, that you haven't talked to in a while. You know, that's them vibing on you with those negative ass thoughts. Shake it off and send it back. That's just somebody trying to work, trying to figure out what you're doing and how you're doing it. Okay. Just, just trying to figure out and see how you do it, Virgo. Spirit, can I have some more messages for Virgo, please? And then we're going to be done. What other messages do you have for Virgo?
nice, naughty, and non-committal. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. You might be dealing with somebody that's non-committal, or you yourself might be in a non-committal energy right now. You just don't want nobody. You don't want to date right now. You just want to focus on you. You just want to grow your craft. You just want to do your business. You just want to make your money. You want to uh, dive deeper into your spirituality. You just want to focus on you. You're making yourself a priority right now. So you're very much into that non-committal energy. But you got somebody that's hooked, Virgo. Lord have mercy. Good luck trying to get rid of them. Lord have mercy. Somebody is hooked on you. Mm -hmm. You might not want them, but they certainly want you. Lord have mercy. They're obsessed. We got obsession. They are obsessed with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Many of you got a baby that's on the way, literally. Okay. You, you might be like in labor in a matter of hours, days, weeks. This baby is on its way. Somebody got a baby that's coming. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of you are bossing up. We got boss lady. You're definitely bossing up. Stepping up your game, focusing on you. Somebody's about to get their dream home. Somebody's about to buy their house. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody's definitely on the download, too. So you might be dating somebody that's gay mm -hmm. or go both ways. They're not really sure who they want or what they want. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my read. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. I shall.